Hello friends and welcome to Constant Learners. In today's video, we are creating this hover effect. So here, right now you can see that we have uh, seven components. The three circles, uh, the central circle, left circle and the right circle. And uh, there are four different types of text. In the center circle, we have uh, a text before hovering and some different text after hovering and there are two texts on the left and right circle as well so there are total seven things that we have to uh, create here okay so let's get started uh, in the HTML we will start with a div container okay which will be the container for all of these components let's give it a class of card now Inside this card, we are going to uh, give another div, which will be the central circle and give it the class of center. Inside this, we will have two paragraphs. First will be the hover me paragraph, which will be uh, the class as pre before it will be uh, because it will be before hover and uh, another paragraph, we will give the class of post because uh, it will be for uh, after hover effect now uh, another div will be having a class of left because it is for the left circle inside this also we will have a p tag and uh, in this we'll have the text create for the right circle again we will define a div give it a class of right and inside this also we'll have a p tag with job as the text now we are going to go to the style.css in the body we are going to set the height total height to be 100 viewport height and uh, uh, we'll set the display flex property so that we can bring all of this text to the center and it always comes with justify content and align items to be in the center okay now we'll select the class card and that is the uh, container for all of these components give it a width and height of 150 pixels because we want it to be circle so we are uh, using a square here okay both width and height will be the same position will be relative and all the other components will be positioned absolutely with respect to this card and here also we will uh, display flex because we want everything to be aligned in the center okay and we'll also use a cursor because we want to give it a hover effect so unless we have a cursor we won't have the hover effect there okay see now everything has come in the center and we also have a cursor over now uh, let's start with uh, dot center let's select dot center let's, uh, let's design the central circle let's give it a width of 100% and uh, height also 100% okay next position let's set it to be absolute okay next let's give it a background color so I have saved some values here I'm going to copy and paste that and uh, next let's give it a border radius of 50% when we set it to 50% we will get the circle okay see I have the orange circle here okay now I'm going to again use the display flex property to bring the text to the center. Display flex, justify content to the center, align items to the center. See now everything is in the center but it is coming side by side. We want it uh, in the form of a column. So we're going to give it a flex direction of column. Okay. Now let's design the left circle. So again, everything is going to stay the same. Whatever uh, is there in the central circle, it's going to come in the left as well as the right circle, except for the flex direction. We don't need the flex direction here. And we will change the background color to the values that I have seen here. See, I've got the green circle, which is the left circle, okay? And the right circle is going to be the sky blue circle. So I'm going to save everything as it is over here. Just change the background color okay see I have a blue circle also here okay now before the hover effect 
before hovering on the orange circle we want the blue and the green circle to be invisible okay so for blue and green we are going to set the opacity to be zero okay so for the dot left and dot right that is left and right classes we are going to set the opacity to be zero so that these two circles are not visible before we hover okay and we're going to set the transition also because we want a smooth transition for them to move from center to the left and right position so i'm going to set it to be 0.7 seconds okay since we are setting the transition the circles when uh, they go from center to the left and to the right the green and blue circles the transition will be very smooth okay now we want that before hovering uh, this wo should be invisible okay on the orange circle and after hovering hover here text should be invisible okay so before hovering i am going to set the post text that is dot post uh, i have given the paragraph for wo as the class post so i am going to set dot post opacity to be 0 so see right now it's not visible and i want that after we hover it dot post should be visible that is wo should be visible and hover here should be invisible when we hover on this circle i want that this circle should change its color from orange to yellow okay so let's change that see now when i hover on this orange circle i'll get the yellow color okay now i also want this central circle to move a little down so i'm going to add the transition uh, transform property here uh translate y because i'm going down so translate y by uh, 30 pixels okay i wanted to go down by 30 pixels and we'll add the transition also here we want a smooth transition so we'll add 0.7 seconds see now it's going down and it's also changing its color okay now i want that when we hover this hover here text should be invisible and wo text should be visible So we're going to add dot card colon hover and uh, dot pre means this hover here should be invisible. So we're going to add the opacity to be zero, and again we're going to set the dot card colon hover dot post, and we're going to set its opacity to be one because right now its opacity is zero. That is why we cannot see. Now see, after hover, we are getting the wo. Now we are going to uh, add transition to the uh, left and right circles. So when we hover, we want the uh, left circle to transform and go towards the top left side, and the right circle to go to the top right side. Okay. so i'm going to add some values here some x and y values and uh, we're just going to use the translate here because we are not uh, moving it in uh, you know in either y axis or in x axis we are moving it between y and x axis okay so i'm adding minus 170 and minus 80 pixels and at this time we want it to be visible so we're setting the opacity to be 1 and for smooth transition we're adding transition to be 0.7 seconds see now green is visible on hovering okay similarly we're going to add the same thing for uh, right circle also we are just going to change the values for transform and minus 170 will change to 170 because it is on the right hand side on the left hand side on, and on the top we use negative values on the right hand side and bottom we use the positive values okay so see now our circles are visible on the hover effect our text is also changing and i hope that this video was clear if you liked it please uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, like this video share it with as many people as you can and if you ever uh, practice this code then uh, i request you to please um, uh, you know make it unique for yourself give it uh, your favorite colors and change it just the way you like and if possible share the 
you know a little clip or a screenshot of the final output on the instagram and uh, tag me as well i'll be very happy to see your work and i will also share it on my uh, instagram stories um thank you so much for watching i'll share the instagram uh, link in the description box below